Hi there, and welcome to this Elisa's Drums tutorial. Today, you'll learn some troubleshooting techniques for your electronic drum kit's pads. This video will focus on troubleshooting your pads for using your kit in standalone fashion with its included drum module. If you're having trouble with using your kit while it's connected to a computer or external MIDI device, we won't specifically cover that here, but all of the troubleshooting techniques in this video will also apply to you. Just make sure you disconnect your drum module from your computer or MIDI device before beginning the troubleshooting process. In this video, I'll be using a Nitro Mesh kit, but everything we'll cover will also apply to any other releases drum kit. Let's kick things off with a very common cause of drum pad problems, cable connections. Make sure that all cables in your included cable snake are securely connected to each pad, and that the summed end is securely connected to the back of the drum module. If you're experiencing intermittent or missed triggers with one pad in particular, completely unplug the cable from that pad, then plug it back in. If the pad triggers its corresponding drum voice in the kit you've selected on the module, the pad is functioning properly. If this pad still isn't working as intended, try intentionally plugging that pad's cable into the jack of another similar pad. For instance, if you're troubleshooting a tom, plug that pad's cable into another tom pad. Likewise, if you're troubleshooting a cymbal, plug that cymbal's cable into another cymbal pad. After doing this, give the pad a few hits. If this pad triggers the drum voice of the cable you connected it to, then the corresponding cable is functioning properly. Finally, let's focus on the cymbal pads, specifically cymbal pads that have choke zones. Choke zones allow you to stop the resonance of the cymbal voice after you hit the pad. These cymbal pads have multiple zones. The first zone is for triggering the primary cymbal voice, which can be triggered by hitting any part of the rubber portion of the pad, and the second zone is located at the bottom edge of the pad, which allows you to choke it. As you can see, after hitting the cymbal pad, I can choke its voice by applying pressure to the second zone. The voice won't choke if I try to squeeze any other portion of the pad. Make sure the Alesis logo is facing towards you when sitting at the kit to ensure you can use the pad's full capability. If none of these troubleshooting methods solve the issue you're experiencing, try performing a factory reset on your module. Each Alesis drum module has a slightly different process for doing this, so refer to your kit's user guide for precise instructions for your module. Keep in mind that performing a factory reset will cause all previously adjusted settings to be reset to their factory values. To learn more about the ins and outs of drum triggering and trigger settings for Alesis drum kits, be sure to check out the other videos on our Alesis support playlist. For more information and further support, head over to alesis.com forward slash support, where you'll find the Alesis knowledge base and a portal to reach out to the Alesis technical support team. Thanks as always for tuning in, and enjoy jamming out on your Alesis electronic drum kit.